Hello, and welcome to the show. Something's got on, the police have turned up. It's a brilliant start. Uh, <laughs> we're on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt, and one of the hunters have pissed off the police at a really bad time. Lovely stuff. The idea of the game is simple. Not to piss off the police, and to try and survive 24 hours of GTA 5 time while being restricted to the city of Los Santos. Uh, we are going to begin at half ten, sure, then we'll have you know, 24 hours. I get a two minute head start, uh, for which I can go into the city, ditch my very, very obvious car, and then try to go to blending in, because that's going to be the aim of the game. As you can see on my screen, it's the same for all the hunters, there is no minimap, there is no name over players, so they will not be able to see where I am, unless I am doing something very obviously silly, pretty much. Uh, all sorts of things can give me away. Um, I'm going to potentially not use a Sultan this time. Um, I love the Sultan. The Sultan is one of the best cars, possibly the best uh, car in the game for what we are doing here. However, they also know that it's probably the best car in the game for what I'm doing here, and are very likely to check all of them. Very likely to check just about all of them. What I would like, a Fusillade would be good actually, if I could find one of them. Now I'm going to head up a slightly different direction. Ooh, here's an idea. The motorway will have lots of cars. Uh, I'm actually going a little bit far away from the motorway. No, this should still work. Yes, 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 we can just loop our way back down again. Um, yeah, here we go, on the motorway. Should be able to grab a fusillade, and that will be... That will be good. Okay, so we're using our head start for, for a slight traversing in a different direction. Find a fusillade, uh, stop a fusillade. Now, the only downside I have with doing this is I will be left... And we'll see what this guy wants to do. Uh, if he wants to leave the car, uh, that would be grand. If he wants to try and nick it back from me... Ah, oh, then we have some problems. So, my plan was... Yeah, go on, go on, run away. My plan was to try and get my car off the motorway. Oh, they've just crashed into the nicked fuselage. That's not going to work. I wanted to get my car off the motorway before going to... Just out off the middle, not that it really matters. This has gone terribly wrong for me. I'm just going to add in here. This has gone absolutely shocking. It's actually despawned the car we nicked, so this one here is going to have to do. Uh, this has been a terrible, terrible start. Uh, I can't change clothes, sadly, while I'm in the vehicle, uh, which means I'm going to have to pull over somewhere and swap. What I'll do is I'll wait till I get under some bridges. Uh, it takes them a little bit of time, of course. Uh, as I said, I have a two-minute head start. It takes them a little bit of time to get out. The only concern might be a helicopter seeing me, but if I park up somewhere like here, for example, uh, we should be able to do this uh, relatively nicely. There we go. We'll just be normal, boring, nondescript. Oh, I was hoping the hat would stay on. Apparently it doesn't. Uh, never mind then. Nondescript person in a car. And there we go. Now it is to blending in with traffic. I think I actually just saw one of the helicopters take off in the background. Uh, thankfully enough bridges there to not really see me. Okay, and we are a go. Now, this particular Survive the Hunt, we have ditched the Golden Snitch rule. Uh, sadly, as fun idea as it was, it just would never really ever be used. We've had some technical difficulties filming this. We've filmed about four of them, and I've had a lot of mic issues. Uh, so, <laughs> all of them, I've either seen it once or not seen it at all and never been able to actually use it for its purpose. And that was a vehicle that if I, if I could take it out, I would win, but... I just never find it. We have still got the pre-exploding rule dotted around the city. Our uh, ten pink pre's might be a little bit more actually than ten. And I have to try and blow up as many of them as possible. Now this time out, because I'd often spend a lot of time looking around the map and just not really seeing much, I have been given a map with all the locations of the pre, so I know where all ten of them are. However, trying to get to all ten of them is going to be the difficult bit. Uh, trying to, you know, get around them and not get spotted while doing all of that is not easy. At the end of the day, the hunters kind of want me to find the prees, because me exploding them is what gives them away. They're all personal vehicles, so the hunters get a notification that a pre has been blown up, which means they know roughly where I am. Rule-wise for this, the hunters, as ever, are limited in terms of weaponry. It's single-shot pistols and basic shotguns that they are allowed, because there's a lot of them versus one of me trying to balance this a little bit. Uh, Vehicle-wise as well, they are not allowed supercars and high-end sports cars. Um, 
because again, because otherwise I would have to drive on, otherwise you'll never get away. And no one is allowed to shoot from the cars. Neither me nor the hunters are allowed to shoot from the from the vehicles. If you do, the chases are over in about 10 seconds because a tire gets shot and then you can't do anything. Uh, we're at a tunnel, so no one's going to be looking if we do a little cheeky uh, undertake, I guess. Um, it's fine. So, yeah, everything is everything is good so far. I don't know whether starting at night is better or worse. Like, at night you don't really get to see the... Uh, you can't really see what the aircraft are doing. So the hunters are allowed... Allowed aircraft, helicopters and blimps are the ones used. Planes would be of no use in this. Uh, they are not allowed to use... Uh, military helicopters, ones that can have weaponry on them, and they are not allowed to use the tiny, lightweight, really agile helicopters. Because, uh, again, it's they're, they're a little too powerful for this sort of a game mode. They are very difficult to shake. Trying to lose a helicopter is incredibly, incredibly tough. Actually, I don't think I should have gone on that one, because there was a red light. Well, there was a light for this corner, but never mind. Um, yeah, trying to shake a helicopter is incredibly difficult uh, in a chase. It can be done, but it's very difficult to shake a helicopter while being chased by cars as well. We'll probably see that at some point. Let's be honest around here. They have a blimp! I can see it! Yep, the blimpy, blimpy is back in this one. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> great for scouting. Not so good for chasing, but yeah, can, can scout really, really well. So, I'm going to consult my map of, uh, of Prees. Now, where I am, there is one actually not too far away from here, which is nice. Um, I should actually be able to get that one with relative ease. Um, there's a couple along this route. You see, I've got to try and time it. I can't blow up a lot of a lot of pre's in quick succession, because then they'll really will know the route I'm going in. So if I see one, I can't just literally run to the next one and blow it up, because there'll be so many hunters around. So you've got to kind of give a wide berth. And the longer you leave it between blowing up pre's, the better it is for me. But then you might run out of time, and so on. Uh, I don't... We're kind of taking our sweet time at this junction. That looked like a player. It looked like a player car slash an AI doing something really funky. It's amazing how many times those things get confused. Works to my advantage sometimes. The hunters often end up chasing random AI cars across the city because they're being weirdos. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that can help me. I just spot the tail end of a helicopter, but it's kind of just wandered off somewhere over there. I saw the lights blinking away on it. Uh, but yeah, that's gone. Are we going to go at all? Now, I'm not allowed to just park up somewhere. Mostly because it makes for a really boring video. Uh, however, I am trying to, you know, actually follow vague traffic rules here. And I can't really be going and overtaking... Oh, Blimpy! That is a terrifying sight to behold. Uh, you see, like, this... this for example, there is a pink pre. I can actually see it in the distance over there. There is a pink pre that I want to blow up. Can I blow it up, though? With the blimp there? Probably not, because the blimp will see... Uh, I might be far enough away, actually, because the blimp will probably see what I'm up to. Um, now, what I have to try and do is call Lester. Actually, I hope that this stays at a red light. Uh, this is this is going to be a risky explosion. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're going to do uh, cops turn a blind eye. Sure, sure. Blimp yeah. has just gone out of range. Quickly get round to Sticky Bomb. Sticky Bomb the car. Now I'm not allowed to simply traverse to the other side of the map and blow the pre up. I have to blow it up uh, within visual range and so on. I can get to a safe distance. Like I don't have to instantly blow the pre up here. I'll wait for the lights to go green and then we'll probably blow it up. Blimp seems to have gone. Chopper seems to have gone. I'd say that's fairly okay. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. Don't know what the hell that car's doing. And... Bang! Goes the... Pre. The best bit of all this, this lot of AI hasn't freaked out. That does not care that a vehicle exploded. The only little downside I have is this is not actually a very good getaway path. Um, the problem with this path we have is that we're at a lot of stoplights. I kind of want to travel as far away from that explosion. Like They know where that explosion went off. They know I was there. No so I want to get far away, but I can't because there are lots of cars converging on this area. 
And that might be, well, obvious if I start trying to flee with that going on. There is a helicopter above. What is that helicopter doing? Uh, is it searching cars? There's a Muppava that's kind of having a look around here. Um, we're just going to try and act like a pissed off AI. And like, The beeping of the car horn is one of those things that feels so counterintuitive almost that if you do it you draw attention to yourself but the AIs do a lot of it so you kind of don't draw attention to yourself in many ways. Uh, what is that helicopter up to here? I'm not 100% sure, you know. So what we are going to do is try... I might take that corner a little bit too fast. I just ping the reverse lights. I'm hoping the chopper... It's kind of about... It is kind of about at the moment. Oh, I pinged on the reverse light. I was trying to be clever. And I pinged... I held the brake because I wanted the car to stop. I'm an idiot. Well, I say I'm an idiot. No, I... <laughs> I got my control system wrong. I was trying to do a sneaky tactic. I had an idea for what I could do. Um, that is either going to be brilliant. Oh, I missed it. I got very close to blowing it up. Um, now, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I've been... I say I've been told. I'm going to be more careful with my drive-by sticky bombing. Um, I don't want to you know, accidentally take out hunters with it. That's not really the purpose of it, but I am allowed to try and go for the Hail Mary shot. I was trying to spot a gap where hunters weren't directly alongside the car to blow it up, but my shot just ever so slightly missed. Uh, that was a silly crash by me. Uh, that hit actually kind of saved me a little bit. Um, oh, that's not great, but we are still going. Uh, the Phoenix has tried... The helicopter's trying to spin me, which is a risky manoeuvre because the helicopter can get damaged in this. Now, the rules are, if I kill a hunter, uh, they are out. Uh, while I'm unlikely to kill a hunter in a helicopter, if a helicopter crashes while chasing me, they are also out. So, they're not allowed to simply dive bomb the helicopters and explode me, but they are technically allowed to try and spin me out with a helicopter, just no one's normally mad enough to try it, because it often ends badly. Apparently, the orange chopper is going to be brave enough. I mean, that practically landed on my roof. Uh, it has bent the roof at the top there. So, yeah, that's uh, an interesting one. We're going to jump on the brakes and try and make some of these corners. The fuselage is not as slow as I expected in some ways. It's actually a pretty good uh, getaway car, uh, which is going to help me, I think, no end. Oh, this is getting risky now. I'm kind of... <sighs> problem is I'm trying to use little alleyways. I'm trying to use little bits and pieces to maybe confuse a chopper, but I run you, you run the risk of running back on yourself and running into more hunters. And you've got to be really, really careful to try and avoid doing that too much. Oh, there goes another hunter. Uh, they just shot across in front of me and end up missing, uh, trying to join in the chase. I mean, they can get turned around, but it's going to take them so long. Something up there was lit and doing something interesting. I, I, I don't, couldn't decide whether there's brake lights whizzing around, whether it was someone with red headlights, because they sometimes appear. Uh, we have got a good distance on them. Now, this is, this is... Ah, we've got a good distance on it, but the chopper is still above us. I hadn't seen it or couldn't hear it. This is a tough thing. It's how far do you run? If I had... Let's say I had got away from the cars and there hadn't been a chopper there. Uh, the sooner you ditch the car and swap, sure, that's great. But uh, you may not be as far away from chasing vehicles as you think. And it takes a good... Let's say even the perfect timed one. 40 seconds, perhaps, to manage to bail out of a car, get to a new car, abandon your car. Now, they're going to probably expect me to do this sort of thing. Uh, oh, that's a little bit iffy by me. Where are the cars? Um, that might be a car over there. See, this is somewhere where I can use the bridges, the pillars, and all of that kind of stuff to my advantage. That was a hunter as well. Ah, there was a one car. I think I confused the choppers, but there is a car still behind. Oop! <laughs> Let's make that turn. So, the Mupava with the bright pink roof is chasing. There is something else back there as well. The Mupava is shifting. You know, it's it's not too slow. That was a good move on the choppers. If I could have confused the cars, I just lost the back end on the fusillade. That is not a good move by me. The Mupava really tried to get the back of us. Just <laughs> missed. Oh, there's two of them! Oh no! The twin Muppavas are here! That's a terrifying sight! I can't deal with that! That's just too many Muppavas in one go! Whatever shall I do? Uh, right. Panic and drive up here. I need to- I need some- and the problem is now I've not lost the cars, the helicopters are back in, so all the clever manoeuvring 
against the oh against the helicopters is all for nothing. The mubbers are just barging everything out of the way. The blimps are round. Uh, <laughs> right, we need. Hmm. We need a little bit of a gap before we could do anything. It would have been fun to try and swap cars around that junction area when we were under the whoop under the concrete. However. I mean, it's so difficult. It, it, you, I wouldn't have time. How close those Mupavas were to have seen me get out, uh, they would have caught me getting into a new car. The only thing it's really worth to do that with would be if I could jump in a, um, a high-end supercar, potentially a bike. A bike would be fun. A bike would be good. One of the Mupavas had a massive crash back there. Uh, if I could grab a bike, they can't catch a bike. You just, you just cannot... You cannot get the bike. Oh, the helicopter's trying. Uh, again, I applaud the effort, and it does kind of slow me down. The helicopter's gone. That helicopter is in a really, really, really bad way. Uh, <laughs> good effort. A for effort. However, uh, F for, well, damage done to your own vehicle, really, in that. Now we've got the uh, horrible red lights. I've got to be really careful, because they are going to go full kamikaze in these junctions. They care not for their own cars, if you like. They'll pit maneuver me, they'll risk throwing a car at me in a junction where I can't throw my car at a junction, or in ways I can't throw my car about. So, I've got to be really careful with those kind of corners that they don't just torpedo me. Oh, I can see the red lights getting ever closer now. I need a mistake from that felon. I'm trying to make it have an error, make it do something silly by bouncing over some curbs. Oh, going through narrow traffic gaps like that. There we go, it's hit something. Yes, that's what we need. <laughs> the problem is, I've got a long time to go. I've got a really, really long time to go. And I spotted another pre. And I don't know how long I can do that without a mistake being made. Oh, like that, for example. Now, we had lost a lot of the cars. The helicopter has slightly overshot that because I didn't really know where I was stopping. Oh, that's a horrible turn for that car. From that car, for me. Uh, that's going to bring all the cars back onto me, isn't it? I don't actually know where they are. There's a, I think there's a chopper still buzzing. I think I can hear it. Oh, there's a blimp still about. That's not great. Well, the blimp won't see where I've gone in here. Now, I have a dumb idea. I have a really, really, really dumb idea. Ah, there was a car again to it. Like, every time I've tried one of these sneaky maneuvers in a car park, there's just something arriving to search the area. So I lose, I've lost the blimp. Brilliant. I cannot get far enough away. How far do we, how far are we going to have to get away? I've seen, like, I can't even think about the prees at the moment. I've seen a couple around the place. I saw a Futo shoot to the left. Uh, not going to be going that way then. It might try and turn around, but it won't. It could get turned around. Oh, helicopter down. Stevie's gone. That was, I'm pretty sure, uh, one of the... Uh, no, that was just another good luck sticky bomb just in case. I had no I had no time even to prepare for that one. So that was a little bit... Uh, <laughs> it was risky. It was risky. There's another one actually by the Simeon dealership. That Sentinel is gaining on us quite hey, a lot. What's going on? Uh, could we... Just get rid of the wanted level. I don't want police shooting at my car because they don't abide by our rules of no. Uh, oh, the Sentinel hit a van. Uh, <laughs> they won't abide by our no shooting inside the car, or they'll be out of their cars. They'll make roadblocks. I don't actually think the police do shoot from the cars. It's the gang members you've got to watch out for for that sort of shenanigans. Right. Oh, that was a hunter whizzing the other way. Uh, can I do? I can't do anything cheeky here. I would love to. However, I can't because their car's too close behind. Like, I'd love to be able to dive into there, turn around and come out the way we came in. It works great against a single helicopter, but I can't do it with a car following me. And I can't seem to shake the damn car at the moment. Uh, let's try whizzing up the hills. If they make a mistake, I could probably... We, we're close. This is the really annoying thing is we're at that point where we are close to getting away. But I can't risk anything too crazy. I still see the chopper about as well. Um, that must be the other helicopter, because we know Stevie blew up. That must be the orange one back. Or the air. Oh, there's the blimp still as well. I've got to lose that. Okay, so there's a little red frog, I think. That's, that's around still. Oh, big two-wheel moment from me. Rolling would not be good. I can't run an entire oh, an entire 24 hours. Uh, there is just no way you can survive that long without making a mistake. 
Um, I mean, that was insanely close as it was. Oh, bugger me! That's so many cars! They've all crashed into one another, thankfully. That's helped me out no end. I thought I'd almost done an amazing little stunt there. However, did not work in the slightest. Um, now, we're trying to be a little sneaky here. This has gone a little awry because I didn't realise where that road went. I just kind of chucked my car down somewhere that was different, that was... Move! Get out of the way! Fools! Fools, the lot of you! I, I think they have crashed quite a lot of themselves out in all of this, but that's not good enough. The Mupaverse <laughs> bounced its way towards us. I mean, that is an incredible sight. Still got a helicopter on us! How the hell am I going to lose these folks? I'm still only blowing up one pre at the moment. That was a big bounce. The Mupaverse in trouble, but Mupaverse having a massive crack. Mupaverse has now had a tremendous accident. Uh, where is the helicopter? This is the question. This is the million dollar question. Where is the chopper? How far back is it? Can I be sneaky under some bridges and find a way out? I don't know. Uh, I really, really don't know if this is if this is possible. And I have a cunning idea, but it relies on no one being around to see it. Uh, if someone is around to see this, we are in loads of trouble here. Um, yeah. I don't know if the helicopter saw where I went. The blimp is, is searching. So I've kind of got to keep a lookout here. I've got to have a look. If a car comes in, I've got to shoot them. If... I've, kind of, I've tried to park my car as difficult to see from the road as possible. I should have maybe stuck it close to the pillar, but I also wanted to put it as far back from, like, render distance as possible. The blimp is down. There's a Mupaver. Oh, the choppers are scouting. Oh! There is a person! I will take your car, my friend, because your car was the one that was given... I don't think he's got that set to let me drive it. Um, I hope he has. No, he hasn't. That's... Very, very annoying. Now, the only thing that I have going for me here is when I kill a hunter, they're not allowed to talk. Okay, they're not allowed to talk. They're not allowed to say where I was when I killed them. Now, they may well have said where he was going. I do not know, but he was not allowed to say I shot him from the car park. So, Liam, yeah, might, have, might, well, they might well have said I'm going to search here. And now they will come and have a look as well. I feel like they must... <laughs> oh, this is one of those... How long do you leave it to move? How long do you leave it to move? The longer I leave it, the safer I am. But the longer I stay here, they might try and search this area. I don't know. Oh, I hate... I, I, this, this is the worst bit. It's that game. It's that game of how... So it's the nerve. How long can your nerve stand before you have to go? That looks like one of them. Now, will they think I'm still here? This is the question. If I spot them, we shoot them. Where is he? Ah, okay, that, so that was Liam. Okay, Liam's in passive mode. He's got to get the car. Fair enough. He was just getting getting that to go back to his place. Oh, I didn't know that was what Liam was wearing. Whew. <laughs> I was about to go and open fire on them. Uh, fair, I'd say fair play. That's, uh, yeah, when the hunters respawn, they're supposed to go back towards the docks. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's, he's now out of it. He's now not allowed to talk about what was going on, etc. Um... The issue I've got is I saw that blimp again. They've, they've got to have suspected I've moved on by now. Surely they've got to have thought I'm not going to be still in this area that was so, so hot. Um, the issue I have is if there was anything good in the car park, I'd totally go and get it. Maybe the Muppet, well, the Muppet is better than the Yogi, but I mean, what other options? Here we go. It's time to be, it's time to be a brave... A brave person and leave the area. Now, there goes. Okay, so the blimp has at least gone that way. So I get a little bit of time. Oh, there's an emperor. 
Hell no. Uh, let's just try. There's an emperor and there's a mule. Uh, hell no to playing around with either of them. Okay, we're out. We're out of the terrifying car park. That's something. Now I need a car. This has been an experience. There's a black fusillade over there. It's gone. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Now, I'm not chasing a car down the road. If a fusillade is either parked alongside where I am, if one happens to stop at a set of lights near me, I will grab it. There goes a hunter car just whizzing about. However, anything more than that, and I'm not doing it. It's not worth that risk because you never know you never know when there's a blimp up in the sky somewhere you haven't noticed uh, they're not going to be able you can't check every single person you just you simply cannot check every single person in the game uh, who's, who's walking about i'm sure my character doesn't quite blend in perfectly when on foot but uh, is there a way to oh hello um I don't know, try and try, if not that. Um, like a slightly different walk style, perhaps, than a default one. Sure, we'll try that. We'll see if that does the trick. Now, my guy's not doing anything in the rain as everyone else is, but that's that. Why is nothing spawning? I just want a car. Hello, people. Um, like that red fuselade, that would be lovely. Uh, let's see if there's like a mood option. Can we do like a, we do like a sad mood? Um, oh, let's not prat around with that. Um... Is there just let's just go back to normal. I thought that was like a would change how you like if my, my guy would put his head down or something. That would have been good. It wasn't. Bugger. I actually now need a car really. Uh, we are messing around. We're messing around by a bit that doesn't really have a footpath that people walk down. Uh, literally anything could have spawned. The thing closest to me is a bloody mule. I cannot get in a mule. I mean, do we go a photo in the rain is suicide. A Futo in the rain is absolute suicide, but maybe I can use the Futo. Okay, here we go. A Futo pouring rain, but I might be able to use it to get me to another car in a slightly safer location. There we go. Also, they know I don't like using the Futo. Um, they know that it's very unlikely that I will use this car in a chase situation, or in a survive the hunt situation. This is the very first time I've ever got in this car in one of these because it is immensely risky and these conditions are the, the worst conditions you could possibly have for a futo who knows i might sh maybe should have changed clothes i'm not sure whether they really saw much of me during that chase i, I don't know how much they saw of me in that um so i, I might be all right with these for now as I said, I, th I think the chances of them searching a Futo are tiny. Right. Concerns we have. Number one, still got Prees to blow up. Um, the part of the map I'm in... Now, I, I have on my computer screen, uh, alongside here, I have the actual map. But, of course, I have no map on my end, so I'm going to try and figure out where I am on this map. I don't think there is much down by the part of the map I am in currently. Um, we want to try and head back towards... Well, we saw one down, like, the main... one of the main shopping centre bits. Uh, where we did the drive-by sticky bombing that killed Ewan in previous one or whatever, that is where um, one of the prees is, because we've already driven past it. Uh, this has been terrible as far as taking out prees go, because I've, only, I've had one, I've had a massive chase, and then not been able to get to another one. Uh... I spot a fusillade in the queue of cars behind me. Now, I want to lose, I want to shake the truck that's currently pratting about and try and get. The problem is, is that either you go for a Sultan that I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to avoid this time, or a rear wheel drive sports thing. Ah, oh, there's a. So I've spotted where we're going, but actually, now I can go because I am turning this way on a red light. I've spotted exactly what I want. Now, the fusillades will set off alarms. That is the only problem. Uh, are we clear? I 
I heard a siren that started, got me a bit nervous. Um, yes, we're clear. As clear as we're going to be. Please let this one be unlocked. Sometimes I've like, had weird cars that have just been unlocked when doing... Can we not get stuck on the car, please? That would be grand. Uh, boop. Now, this is a little bit obvious. Uh, my hope is I can get in this car pretty sharpish. Nip it into the car park. If anybody's around, that might just be enough to keep it shielded. There's actually one in this car park. I could have gone in here as well. Okay. Everything is back to, I mean, as, as good as it's ever going to be, really, with this car. I don't think I can get rid of the smash window on this one. Nope, that's just going to st stay like that. I'm going to hope the damage does it. It's not sinking on everyone's screen thing, so I will be okay to get away with that. Uh, hello, person. Because, yeah, sometimes damage just doesn't sink between people. Uh, so let's hope that they don't... S normally, I say normally, they've never... Never in even any of the testing ones, no one's ever seen the car because of a smashed window from stealing it. People have seen cars because of weird damage, but never from a, a smashed window from nicking the car or from sticky bombing a vehicle. So there we go, a little bit of survive the hunt trivia for you, if we will. Um, right, we are on the go again. We are, oh, yeah, we're good. We're fine through that one. Oh, that was a bit close with that. Let's head back towards the... What the bloody hell was that? I heard a whoosh. It sounded, it sounded like a whoosh of a rocket of some description going after something, but I don't know what it was. I can't imagine it was the whoosh of a rocket going after something. But there we go. I'm still, I'm still looking at this map, trying to think. Why am I being such an idiot? Why am I so lost as to where I am? There was a map of a oopsie daisy. Uh, no, I should know where I am. I can't. <laughs> it's one of those things. I know exactly where I am, but I don't have enough time to look at the map to, and then keep an eye on everything going on the screen. I daren't. I can't spend too long just looking at the map, because that will get me killed. Right, the plaza area. That is that part of the map. Um, I, I can't show you where I'm looking. Uh, I think I know where there is a pre vaguely close here. Um, so that's something. Yeah, I think I kind of want to go left around here. There's a pre by one of the of slip roady areas. Like the, the elevated roads around the maze bank, I think there is a pre on the bottom of one of them somewhere. I did just notice a Mupava driving around that area. So that's less than ideal. The Mupavas or the, the hunters themselves are not allowed to simply camp out the parked prees. They have to continue at their normal, normal race. I mean, they're allowed to check up on them if they spot one, but they're not allowed to simply park by them. Now, that's the second time I've seen a turquoise minivan that makes me ponder. Yeah, that's a player car, because that's just driven into a car park. Uh, so it was a player car. It was a player car that we drove across in front of. That was actually then way luckier for me than I expected. I mean, it might have found my abandoned vehicle. It's entirely possible that that found my abandoned vehicle. Uh, can't do much about it, really. I believe... If I'm reading this map correctly, if I remember the bit of the map I'm in. If we go... Yeah, if we go left, we should find ourselves by a... By a Prius, Liam in ghosty mode. Hello, ghost Liam. I know, I shot you. I don't feel bad for it. You would have done the same to me. Uh, <laughs> somewhere down here, I think. Either that or I have entirely forgotten how to read a GTA map. I mean, that, let's face it, that is distinctly plausible. No, there is a pre down there. Lovely stuff. Happy days. We have a pre to go and blow up. I mean, we're doing okay. It's not actually been a great... We're doing okay. There is now uh, a bunch of hunters who have just whizzed hey past. Um, that is actually really okay. unfortunate for me. That is a real problem for me, because I kind of have to be in this lane. I don't even know if I can get that pre from here. Uh, it's going to have to be a big throw. Okay. Oh, it does help if you have the sticky bombs equipped. It's going to have to be a big throw. 
Actually, might have overshot. Okay, I, I suppose I have to aim up and, and go back down again, but seem to have been fine with that. We'll wait until the traffic lights go green. I'm allowed to wait. I mean, I'm not moving from here, so we're allowed to wait um, until the right moment. Yeah, there are hunters about this area. It's possible an AI car was freaking out. Actually, they might have found, I said they might have found my wreck in the car park. I'd expected it to despawn by now, but may or may not have done. Uh, here we go. Now we are able to set off. This is dangerous. I know this is going to be the only opportunity I get to blow up a second pre, and at the moment, our chances of being able to uh, blow up more than a couple are quite slim. Ooh, here is a grand strategy, if ever I saw one. Yes, this is actually perfect. That was not a very good placement for a pre there. There's so many ways out that I can get to. They'll, they'll probably know from which angle I blew that car up. Uh, because of where that's positioned, if I'm trying to blend in with traffic, there's only really one point I could have been. However, despite them being close, I can get a long way away very quickly by jumping on this motorway. And this motorway will take me back to where I actually wanted to go in the first place. It's perfect, really. I mean, we are... <laughs> it's not perfect, but it is... I say it's not perfect. No, this is about the best pre-explosion I've ever managed to do, I think. I sh don't say that. I mean, why, do I why would you say something that's galactically stupid? Because that's when I run around a corner and a hunter just happens to run into the front of me. And I don't play it off well enough. Okay, curse the commentator. Have we been... Settled, perhaps? I hope so. I'd love it to stop raining as well. I'm in, I'm in real wheel drive cars. Can we not have it pouring with rain, please? That'd be grand. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So there's nothing down... Oh, there's actually one. If we go around the back of the golf course, I can get one. That would be a way to go. I've got to be aware of my time constraints at the moment. Uh, there isn't... Yeah, there, there is one not far away from the golf course, and that's quite easy for me to get to from here. It's quite easy for me to get to safely from here, uh, which is the important thing in this particular challenge. Everything has to be done well as safely as possible. <laughs> it's weird saying that play a GTA but it's just, this is a very different game mode. This is a very different game mode. I hope it's why you guys like it. It's why I like doing this. Um, this is all about the it's all about the tension. It's all about the build up. It's about the little bit of little bit of stealthing strategies come into play a tad. Uh, I'm actually in the wrong bloody lane. Let's go back down here. I don't want to go up the uh, road to my right. That is not a good place to be. I say it's not a good place to be. I could do, but it just means it's going to take me a lot longer to get where I want to go. So if we keep heading straight on, it means we have to navigate this horrible junction. Like, one of the busiest junctions in the game. Uh, there's a chopper buzzing around the beach. Ooh. Three pre's are... is achievable. I could get four... At a, uh, I could get, I could, well, there's, there's a little route that I could potentially get a few different pre's on, but we have to do it perfect, and perfection for me is difficult. It was one of those that I could get four or five, but I have to rely on absolutely no hunters at the wrong time. A hunter appearing at a bad time means I. Even if they don't spot me, it just means I have to cancel my my plans, pretty much. Uh, we're just stuck in traffic now. To be fair, this is a safe place to be stuck in traffic. The only thing that gives me away is an AI being impatient. Uh, it's uh, Of all the places to be stuck, here, because there's so many cars, you just can't check everything. Uh, here isn't too bad. We are now at the front of the queue. Perfect. Is there any sign of hunters? No, there is not. That is good news. Generally means they've congregated somewhere else in the map. <laughs> We've seen this quite a lot of times. It may become the discussion video after this one. Uh, I will be able to say where they were. Uh, you know, an AI card does something weird. Everyone gets called to a location to see what the hell is going on. And that leaves me with like three quarters of the map where there's no sign of anybody because everybody is busy up at one particular part. Uh, I did spot here, yeah, there's a blue map of a all the way back there that is in this direction, uh, which I don't really like, but, um, and it will be heading this way as well. 
because why why would it be going anywhere else? That's that's the edge of my play area. That's the edge of the the city limits, if you will. So unless it turns round, it will be going up this way. That screws up my plans a little bit. Um, it means I'm going to have to take a. It means I might actually have to go around the back of the golf course. You could, I could just cut along the front of it and be there quickly. But if there's going to be a mup avert to see me sticky bomb it, then that is not so great, really. I can't actually see it at the moment, which is, I mean, kind of good for me. It might have turned off. Oh, let's just keep keep the power down a little bit. Let's just get through there. Thank you very much, traffic lights. It's always lovely. Ah, but then we're going to get stuck here, aren't we? Bugger. Mubavut is still behind us. I it might be gone like that. It might be gone. Are they changing Mubavut? Are they getting a photo? What is going on here? I uh, I think they're trying to change car and I am stuck here with literally three hunters. Anybody gets out of their car... Oh, and Chris got mugged. That's what was going on here. Um, Chris was getting mugged by a... So the Mubavas got nicked by a mugger. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> we got a ringside seat. <laughs> Play a mugging <laughs> while we're busy trying to survive and find a pre to blow up, and they just got mugged and lost them up. Of a <laughs> Amazing! Oh, that's brilliant! And now they've pissed off and they're a million miles away. That is just per perfect, guys. You could not have. How did they not notice me? I have no idea. I guess they were. It was so busy watching the, the silliness of the mugger. Like, everyone was so distracted by laughing, I presume, at the mugger mugging going on, shall we say, that the attention wasn't on the cars that were parked there, so no one checked the drivers of the fusillades, and that got us away. That was ridiculous. I mean, that was that's properly properly crazy. Um, they have now killed the mugger, and that was the other Mupover going the other direction to... I guess help or do whatever it is that it does. Um, so there is the other. There is another pink pre. Uh, now again, this is going to have to be a long throw, and I'm going to have to hope that no one's around. Oh no, 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 no! That is well, not what I need doing? at all. Um, there, enjoy. Okay, so helicopters and mupavers. A photo is close. They've got the mupaver back. The Hunters have had a really big crash. Um, that is far from ideal. Uh, so let's try and take this car. Now, I can't blow up the pre. That's the problem. Uh, I I am simply unable to blow up the pre. I'm gonna, I've got to try something here. This is either going to work... think that would work. I've got to let them bugger off. I've just got to sit here. Let them go. Let them go. Hold the nerve. If they check, if he gets out of the helicopter, I have to go. Yep, we're going. Not risking that one. Definitely, definitely not risking that one. Ah, oh, that was a bloody good shot. Fair play. Fair play. I was really, really hoping. I don't know how they got the gun. They normally can't get the gun out quick enough for doing that. I should have gone before they got out. Um, fair play to them. I was trying to be... Sneaky. I beat the cars. Just the helicopter uh, came and had a, had a closer look. Um, well, I, well done. It was worth a try. It was a crazy risky strategy. Um, I mean, if I'd gone while the, uh, when the cars had gone, I think I would probably 
have... Uh, I would have got seen by the helicopter, but I would have been safe because the helicopter couldn't have done much about it, uh, which is... I mean, I say fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I, I tried... I tried something. Uh, there goes Blazer's helicopter. It rains debris down on on everyone. Uh, <laughs> We watched a mugging. I got two pre's. We almost got a third. I was trying to set it up. Uh, I just couldn't quite get the... I guess I couldn't quite get the break. It just, it, it, somebody checked, and that's the thing. When you try these sneaky maneuvers, you try these sneaky strategies, somebody checks. Um, I think Blaze... Well, we saw Blaze get out of the helicopter. Had a, a Magnum, I think it was, revolver or something. And managed... Got a headshot. It's a good shot, actually, to, to get me and not take anything. Not just ping off the doors. Sometimes... And we've seen so many times I've spun away from chases as bullets have pinged off the car and somehow not got a tyre. Uh, but... That one... That one they got me fair and square. Uh, <laughs> it was a good game. We had a massively long chase. Uh, we somehow managed to get away. We're a bit sneaky. Uh, we... I mean... I tried to play things a little too clever, and it very nearly worked. In the end, I might have been better and just started, initiated another chase if we didn't have very, very long to go at all in that one. So, yeah, it was... It was close. It was close. We nearly got it. We're going to the ocean. <laughs> That's your lot. That's... <laughs> we have these swimming brigades of Mupavas. That's that. Uh, <laughs> what a survivor hunt. Ah, oh, so I was, I'm disappointed that that didn't work. Because it could have been amazing. It was so nearly amazing. Now they're trying to stab me in the water. I feel like that's very unsporting right there. Just drive me to the water and then just stab. I don't know where the other person has gone. I think it's brazen. I saw so Yeah, I mean, you can try stabbing. We're going to go get a jet ski. I mean, what better way to end a survivor hunt than to... Run away, grab a jet ski, and... Oh no! Better way to end a survive the hunt. Oh, there's a jet ski at the platform. Perfect. Uh, oh, Brazen might actually end up being able to uh, kill us here. Whoop! <laughs> uh, go on, hit them with the gun! Hit them with the gun! No, why, why are you not hitting them with a the gun? Why have I got a machine gun and a punching match? punching wins. Uh, apparently that is the way it goes. Um, apparently stabbing is, is not very effective. Uh, we're going to kick someone off into the water. Oh no! I think I've been hit by something. Quickly! Jet ski away! To freedom! To freedom we go! Oh, Chris has got on the back. Well, this is awkward. Uh, <laughs> you can't kill. You can't kill the person who is driving the jet ski. I was hoping I could get off of that before... Can I...? No, I don't know if I could actually knock somebody off a jet ski. It's a fittingly stupid end to a Survive the Hunt, if ever I saw one. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.